many times we hear people say things like that prophet is fake. He gave me a prophecy five years ago and up till now it's yet to come to pass. So many times people think the prophet who gave them a prophecy must be fake because the prophecy didn't come to pass. But in this video, I'll be telling you reasons why prophecies fail. So if you are interested in knowing why prophecies fail, stay tuned. If you're any part of this family, welcome back. And if you are new to my channel, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I film about faith, lifestyle, family, and lots of G's. Trust me, you would enjoy being here. So today, I'm talking about why prophecies fail. There are so many reasons why prophecies fail. But in this video, I'll be sharing with you four reasons why prophecies fail. Let's jump right in. The first reason why prophecy fail is lack of faith. Remember the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 1, uh, Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1 that faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. But the Bible also says in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 3 that without faith it is impossible to please God. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is and is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So if you do not have faith in God, who is using the prophet to give you a prophecy? How do you expect the prophecy to come to pass? So you have to believe that the prophecy is going to come to pass for it to come to pass. If you don't believe that it's going to happen, if you are told that God is going to say to you maritally, for instance, if you do not believe it, it may not happen. So faith is the first, lack of faith is the first reason why prophecies fail. The second reason why prophecies fail is lackadaisical attitude. Yes, you can receive a prophecy, fold your hands and go to sleep without doing anything. It doesn't work that way. Paul the Apostle tells the Thessalonians in 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 verse 10 that if a man is not willing to work, then he should not eat. So you can't receive a prophecy and go to sleep and expect the manifestation of that prophecy. It may not work. You have a part to play. You have a role to play. For instance, if you've been given a prophecy that the Lord is taking you to the United Kingdom, for instance, and you decide to sit at home and wait for the prophecy to come to pass, you don't even have a passport, not to talk of a visa, you wake up every morning, go to church, lie down and sleep or go to church and pray from morning till night without playing any role it may not happen in fact it may never happen you will be there for donkey yes and you will you in fact you may not step you may not be close to the uh, um border of nigeria so you have a role to play you have a part to play if you've been given a prophecy that you're going to become a leader in nigeria you're going to lead nigeria maybe become a president in nigeria for instance and you you refuse to acquire skills on leadership you know nothing about leadership you you can't even lead a group of five effectively and you're expecting the prophecy to come to pass it may never come to pass so you have a role to play like a classical attitude is another reason why prophecies fail the third reason why prophecies fail is insensitivity to God's timing. The Bible says in the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 that there is time for everything. Yes, God works with time. God is not, he doesn't work, he doesn't do things haphazardly. He works with time. So if you've received a prophecy, there is a time for the manifestation of that prophecy. If the time for the manifestation is not ripe, the prophecy will not come to pass. So our timing, like I, like I always say, our timing is different from God's timing. So until it is, God, it is right in God's timing, it, may, it will not manifest. Not even it may, it will not manifest. Now let's use this illustration. A parent, a well-meaning parent who buys a car for his or her four-year-old child will not give, put that four-year-old child with, behind the wheel until he is ripe, he is an, he becomes an adult, until he, he gets to the age where he can drive that car legally without causing an accident. So if a parent 
will not put a four-year-old behind the wheel until the child is right for it. Do you think God will give you something that he knows that you are not ripe for? No, he will not because he said in his word that if our earthly father knows how to give us good things, how much more our heavenly father? So until it is right in God's timing, the prophecy may not come to pass, will not come to pass. Another reason why prophecies fail is that prophets see in parts. Yes, prophets see in parts. I want us to always remember that prophets are not God. They do not have the final say. Yes, they are humans. They are men like us who have who are being used by God, who have been chosen to be used by God in that office, in that capacity. So they do not have the final say. They do not see everything. They do, they do not know everything. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 9, that for we know in part and we prophesy in part. So we do not know everything. So if a prophet has given you a prophecy, for instance, like the illustration I used earlier, that you will... He sees you in the United Kingdom. You'll be traveling to the United Kingdom. You do not know when you will be traveling to the United Kingdom. He has not told you what you are going to the United Kingdom to do, what exactly you are supposed to go there to do. He has not told you how you are supposed to go there. So you do not just jump, carry your bag, or go to resign at your office and begin to run after visa. You sit back, go back to God, and find out, what am I supposed to do at the United Kingdom? When am I supposed to go to the United Kingdom? That is just an illustration. There are so many things. You know the prophecies that you've received. Do not jump just into it without going back to God to know exactly when, how, when and how he will want you to do it. Remember that prophets are not God. They see in part. Has this video blessed you? Have you learned one or two things from this video? Then please share this video with your friends. Share on your social media handles. And remember to like this video. Give it a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I also like to hear from you in the comment section. What do you think? your additions, your contributions, and if possible, topics you would want me to talk about. See you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye, people.